the twelfth story from the Gateless Gate. From the book Zen, Flesh Zen, Bones written by Paul Rebzuigen calls his own master. Zuigen called out to himself every day, Master. Then he answered himself, Yes, sir. And after that he added, Become sober. Again he answered, Yes, sir. And after that he continued, Do not be deceived by others. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, he answered. That is all the philosophy. That is all the holy books contain in this one story. If you understand this one story, you don't have to open any books. Because heaven and earth, man in the center, everything includes in this one. Swami Vivekananda kept on reminding everybody, at least speak to you for 10 minutes out of the 24 hours. Did you ever think of talking to you? At least talk to you. In the sense, he wanted you to understand yourself before you could point a finger to others. When you understand yourself, you become alert. You become conscious. In the alertness, in that consciousness lies the magnetic power to destroy all the cancerous cells, all the diseases, all the lies and deceits. Because lies and deceits follows you and you get trapped because you yourself do not know your strength. Once you know your strength, even the whole world joined together against you, they will be at a loss or you will be the winner. Zugin calls his own master. Zugin called out to himself every day, master. And then he answered himself, yes, sir. Because if you are not a master of your own organs, if you are not a master of your own brain, if you are not a master of your own eyes and ears and your smile and your heart, you are deceiving yourself. You are allowing others to remote control you. And you think you are literate, you think you are educated and you walk by trying to please others. Once you understand yourself, you slowly become a master. To become a master, you have to practice because of the borrowed knowledge. Otherwise, because of borrowed knowledge, you have to practice a minimum of thousand times. So this daily exercise is very good to call yourself a master and then you say, yes, sir. With that, you understand that what is the amount of weight needed in the body. When you go to eat something, you will ask yourself, should I put, is my body a petrol vehicle or a diesel vehicle? Accordingly, you will push your foot inside. Otherwise, you just dump it because somebody is giving you food. In the cruise ships, passengers who have booked it because they say you have unlimited food early morning, huge queue in front of the food department, in front of the cafeteria. People are just dumping inside the body because it is free. No, 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 no. Free means you are getting destroyed. You should know what is your capacity, like how the Japanese children have been taught. They have a one year calendar and they write it. You suppose you go and invite the Japanese friend, please come, let's go for a coffee. And I will pay for it also. He'll say, No, 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 I can't, I can't accept that coffee. Because in his yearly calendar, he has not put, if he accepted that coffee, he has to return that coffee back. One. Two, he has to find out whether his body needs it or not. But here we don't have the thing. We have not taught our children the value of that money. When an owner wants to go to the 
यूनिवर्सिटी शी वेंट जस्ट आफ्टर हर हाई स्कूल शी वेंट एंड आस्ट मदर मदर सेट वेट बिकॉज यूनिवर्सिटी इज गोइंग टू कॉस्ट यू लॉट ऑफ मनी बट इंडिया दैट इज नॉट थिंग एवरीबडी इज पुशिंग द किड्स एंड किड्स न्यू दैट इज नो वैल्यू इन इट सो दे गोज दै दे डोंट गिव एनी रेस्पेक्ट टू द कॉलेज departments teachers lecturers they go there to become vagabonds gangsters and they are called themselves the professionals and professionals what they do only deceiving 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 the poor public when ono german and asked mother mother said let me talk to the father father decided yes it is going to cost me around 3 million japanese yen for your degree 3 years course and mother went and told onochan father is agreed now you have to go and bow to him and say thank you very much so onochan went to the father bow to him and said thank you very much that you agreed to sponsor me 3 million for my studies and i promise you that i'll work 20 hours in in any company i get it and i will save the money in the post office i will not touch it till my age of 20 i will not give you trouble and i will make sure that i will get marks 100 is 100 apart from my study 100 out of 100 and i'll give you the time table for the year what i'll do how much time i can spend with you friends spend with my mother friend my friends value child has been taught to value of that money 